if you struggle to release the golf club on the way through, it might be because of this. It might also be because of the lack of understanding we might have when it comes to release. There's so many different definitions of release. Dan Grieve in his great book, Three Release, explains it really, really nicely. But here for me is the true definition of, of what a release should be, especially in the full swing. You can do this in the short game, but really very much in that full swing. And why on earth it matters as well? Because we think to ourselves, hang on, we've hit the golf ball, surely the follow through doesn't matter. Oh my word, yes it does. Here we go. So, why does the release matter first of all? Well, it matters because the golf club needs momentum. It has momentum during the golf swing. And what we don't just want to do is just sort of halt that momentum. When we halt that momentum, we usually raise the golf club away from the ground and that's when we top it. We actually want to keep that momentum going, but in the right direction. And that's what the release, that's what we can do as a release. We want to let that momentum of that golf club do its work for us. We don't want to work against it, we want to work with that momentum of that golf club. So therefore we need to release the golf club as well as we can do. Now, what's the release I hear you say? Well, a lot of people think the release is this, okay? This isn't a release. This is more of a flip, okay? Flip and release are two very different things. A release is good, a flip is not. Depends on, again, on what shot we're talking about. Flipping isn't always the worst thing if we're trying to hit a lob shot over a bunker, but then and only then is really necessary, and that's the thing. So especially on, a, let's say, a normal full shot, we don't want to flip at the golf ball. We're going to scoop that ball. What I call the windscreen wipers here, that's a flip. We don't want to flip it. When we say the word release, what we actually mean is a rotation. We actually mean that feeling of that club rotating on the way through. But not just the club, because there's something got to control that golf club. It's the hands that release and rotate on the way through. So the momentum of the golf club goes through towards the target and at the same time we allow, don't force, we allow the hands to do their work for us. So be warned, especially when you do this, and this is mainly for you guys out there who really do hit the ball to the right, you more than likely don't release. Okay, look at those hands, left hand very much on top of the right. As a result, the club face stays very open. Our ball's gonna go way out to the right hand side. You've gotta make sure you're allowing those hands to do their work for us. But remember, I'm not forcing my body to do the work for us. I'm using my hands. And the body just gently rotates on the way through. So it's not a force, it's just a gentle rotation of those hands on the way through. It sounds and looks so simple. It's going to feel very different, again, to a lot of you golfers out there. But my word, if you can master this, if we can let it happen, if we can let that rotation release occur, then my word, you are not going to see the right side of that golf course anytime soon. So remember, this isn't a release. This is a release. This is a release. Release that club and feel the freedom and the lack of right side of the golf course.